The hike will start out at the parking area, taking the yellow trail up to the blue trail. The blue trail will take us up some of the side of Sugarloaf Mountain. We'll increase a couple thousand feet maybe in elevation. Then we'll be on the Devil's Path as we go and summit Sugarloaf right around here. We will head back down into the ravine. We will then continue on the Devil's Path up to the Twin Mountains first summit, then follow that over to the second summit, where we will then reverse course, come all the way back down, find the Blue Trail, which I think is in Pequoy Notch, head all the way back down to the Yellow Trail, and come back out at the parking lot. Right around a total distance of 9.6 miles. All righty, good morning. It's about 4.15 a.m. and uh, I'm headed to the Devil's Path. Uh, the Devil's Path is a hike up in the Catskills, so I got a nice little drive ahead of me. Um, and when I get there, uh, what I'm doing is a portion of the Devil's Path, not the full Devil's Path today. I'm not doing 24 miles. Um, or trying to do that in a day. It's 14.1. I should hit either three or four peaks, uh, Indian Head, Sugarloaf, Twin, and maybe Plateau if I get uh, adventurous. A uh, lot of elevation change. Should be a fun hike. We will see. Off we go. Oh, damn. Thought I was recording, and I didn't. So I'm going to do this again. Anyway, I'm on the trail headed up to Sugarloaf. Um, as may or may not come to uh, the surprise of anyone, my GoPro is dead again because I turned it on this morning to film an introduction, you know, when I left, thought I had turned it off and in the, uh, multi-hour drive to get here, it died. Now on the plus side. I learned from having it die on me on the last couple hikes to bring chargers. So it's actually in my pack charging. So that's a good thing. So hopefully the GoPro will make an appearance at some point. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. The trail is very cool. I just hiked through what I think was a slate quarry area. A lot of big flat slate rocks. And I'm on the blue trail which is taking me to mink hollow from mink hollow i'm gonna go to sugarloaf and let me flip the i guess i can't flip the camera around while i'm doing this um but i'll do this so you can see it's a really nice pretty trail the ecosystem's actually changed three times already um gone from i don't know what kind of trees these are if my brother, Jim, the arborist was here, he could tell you, I can't tell you. Um, but the, you can see over there, you got a lot of pine and over here, it's totally different. So it's, it's really cool. Um, I also am finding it very interesting how much different this hike is already to any of the Jersey or PA hikes I've done recently. The terrain is different. The, you know, trees and foliage are different, which makes sense. I mean, a completely different area of the country, but very cool so far. Don't know how far I am. And, and since my uh, Fitbit is on my hand that has the phone in it, uh, I can't tell you how far we are. Probably a little over a mile. We, it's just me. I'm here by myself. Um, and so far, this has been pretty awesome. You can tell, I don't know, it's gonna go up, but that's what this does. This hike is a lot of steep, steep ups and then really steep downs. So we'll see how far I get. When I get to the potential bailout later on, um, cause this could be a 14 mile hike it could also be like an eight mile hike. Just depends on what I feel like and what the timing is like um, when I get to the bailout point. 
because this has got a double loop to it. You'll see it in the maps when I post this stuff. Um, and that double loop would allow for the longer hike and also allow me to hit three peaks. I know I'm gonna hit Sugarloaf, probably gonna hit Indian Head. Whether I get any other ones in will depend on whether I have overestimated my abilities or not. So we'll see. All right, talk to you guys later. See, again, it's like what I was saying earlier, it's already changed again. Now I'm back in a piney area. It's so cool. Um, real quiet, you can hear the birds singing. Every now and then I hear a, a woodpecker beating his head out against some tree someplace. And then I make too much noise and probably annoy him. And he goes away. But the trail is just pretty much everything I could have hoped for so far. I have a feeling it will be more than I could have hoped for in a little bit. Look at these roots, very cool. A lot of this root structure all over the place in here. You know, which if I was gonna try and run this trail would probably cause me to break my neck. But as far as hiking it, helps actually a lot with footing. It's kind of cool. All right, until next time. Trail gets a little cool right here. Winds its way, you know, in through all these rocks. Pretty neat. This is, I like this kind of stuff. Uh, this is like I say, where it makes me go, oh, I'm in the Lord of the Rings. Uh, trying to pick the best route to go down these flares. That was kind of cool. So you can see, I don't know if you can tell through this video or not, I can tell by looking down how much elevation we've already gotten. As far as wildlife goes, I saw a really cool, very, you know, auburny red squirrel. He was cool, but he ran away real fast, so I couldn't take his picture. And, you know, is a squirrel really worth taking a picture of? I don't know. Um, haven't seen much else, and I don't anticipate to, primarily because I'm too fucking loud. Excuse my French. Um, and as a result of, of that, uh, I don't expect to see much. But this is kind of interesting because guess where the trail goes? Pretty neat. Uh, that's kind of a cool view. Very pretty. So the trail goes back that way, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Trying to fool you and make it think it goes straight down there, but it don't. Okay, so I'm down in a ravine. And that's kind of cool, but if you look up, you can see that might be Sugarloaf right there. I'm not sure, but pretty sure I gotta go up there. And uh, you can tell that's a ways up because I'm down here and I'm going up there. Anyway, uh, you can see, again, it's just such a beautiful trail. Um, really pretty, haven't seen a soul, uh, very nice peaceful, calming to my mind. I love it. I don't know if you can hear that sound. It means I'm coming up on a little mountain stream. I love that stuff. I don't know what it is. There's something about running water I just really enjoy. Especially the sound of it. So, here we are. Just a pretty little brook, stream, I don't know what the how you call this thing. Yeah, pretty little waterfall. Kind of nice. And the path goes over that way. Off we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go, up the trail, up the trail, through the rock formations up the trail up the trail
Huh. Don't know if that was water that just hit my head or if a bird just shit on me. Kind of going to hope it's water. I know anybody watching this is going to sit there and go, I hope it was a bird shitting on you. But that's just me. It's just a well, I tried to go live on Facebook uh, for this part, but it didn't really work out. Uh, signal's not good enough. So here's where we are. We've made it to the Devil's Path. That's what the red trail is, the Devil's Path. Uh, so you can see Sugarloaf Mountain is a mile that way, but you gotta focus on what it says below Sugar, Sugarloaf Mountain. The ascent is 1,200 feet. Nice of them to warn me. And you can kind of get a sense, maybe, I don't know. It's going up and it's going up pretty fast. So we will see, but we've switched off the blue trail. We're going up the red trail. Now there is also the potential, cause look at this, this is just gorgeous. I don't know what mountain that is. It might be Indian head. It might be something else. I'm really not sure. I'd have to look at the map to see. But I think if I went that way, uh, for not that long, I'd end up on top of that. Um, and I was debating whether I wanted to do that. I got to look at my all trails map again and see what I want to do. What I don't want to do is add like five miles to the hike. So, uh, we'll see, but man, that's tempting. It's pretty, pretty awesome looking climb and I like it. We'll find out. Well, I'll tell you, the reason, or at least one of the reasons I read that the Devil's Path has its name is that the folks who originally, uh, you know, founded this path or whatever, believed that only the devil could actually do it. And I will tell you, Man, it wasn't playing when it talked about a 1,200 foot ascent and going pretty much straight up. That the path is very cool, um, but it's definitely much more difficult at this point than it was early on. So um, I think the sun happens to be in my eyes, so it kind of gets difficult for me to tell where the trail is going and where it's not. So I'm really looking for those red markers heavily and they bleed out, but I'm pretty sure it goes right up there. We'll find out. All right, I kind of thought it went up there. It didn't take me long to realize it actually goes up there. That's why that turn was there. So here we go. This is very sweet, cool. You'll have to pardon my jostling of the camera, but you know, it is what it is, man. I'm trying to hold it steady. So you get a sense of what I'm doing here. Oh, how cool. And see, red markers. So what do you know? We went the right way. That's not that bad of a drop. But, uh, you know, I still don't want to fall. Anyway, off we go. This is uh, heading up Sugarloaf. Well, um, may have reached a decision point. Because you see that? The trail. That's the trail. Straight up that. Right up that cliff. All right. And that's wet. And you can see. I don't know if you can really see it or not. But there's snow in there, which means there's probably some ice too. Um, as you go over and pan this way, you can see there's a good amount of snow still on the hill over there, on the mountain over there. So the trail goes straight up that. And uh, I may have met my match. Don't know if I can do that. Luckily I'm lying. The trail goes that way. Ah! I think this time I'm not lying. And the trail goes up there because I went this way, couldn't find any markers. So I think the trail actually goes up there. 
So I'm going to go find out. That's fine. Well, sure enough, that's the way the trail went because it comes up here and then it goes up there. So I had gotten off the trail and now I'm back on it. So still don't really have enough of a signal to go live on Facebook. So I'm just recording these videos, saving the GoPro until I get to the top. But you can see that's the path. It's kind of been this way for a while. Um, yeah, they aren't kidding when they go 1200 foot ascent. I don't know how many feet I've done, but for the last however long, it's basically been rocky up like this and a lot steeper in places even where you're really just climbing up the side of a set of rocks. So pretty cool. I dig that there's still snow. I wonder, you know, how long, cause it's, you know, it's middle of May. I got ice, I got snow. And I wonder how long it, you know, it takes the snow up here to melt. I think it's pretty cool. But you know, there's the red markers. So we're still on the trail. Starting to learn why they call this thing the Devil's Path. Hee Loving it though. Well, that looks tricky. You know, maybe May is too early to come to this mountain. <laughs> but I don't know, man. That's a lot of snow up there. Anyway, that's where I'm headed. Have fun for me. Uh, see you later. All right. So I think... I'm close to, if I haven't already passed it, I just didn't see the sign, summiting Sugarloaf, um, which will be, for me anyway, uh, the first 3,500 plus peak in the Catskills that I have notched, so to speak, put in my belt or however you want to say it. It's not really as impressive to me as it might be to if I hadn't done Long's Peak in Colorado with Brian Dunn, buddy of mine, and uh, many years ago. But the funny thing is, you know, that's a 14,000 foot mountain. We, we got up to about 13,000 feet um, and couldn't go any higher because it would have been technical. But the... Uh, the funny thing, as I was saying, is that I was definitely much heavier when we did that climb. Probably not in as good a shape, although I was working out a lot more and with a lot heavier weights, so it's hard to say. Um, but I had a lot more muscle on my body than I do right now. Um, I'm much leaner now than I was. So I don't know whether this or that is more impressive because I don't know whether I'm in better shape now or not. I can tell you that this path definitely earns its name at the locations coming up. I, it wasn't even worth trying to film some of it because it's just too steep and you need both hands to scramble uh, up the trail. So, which is kind of cool, you know, rocks, and roots are, are pretty neat things when you're trying to go up the trail. This is just gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, nice little pine forest here on the top of Sugarloaf Mountain. I must have summited it already because I'm about to go down. Um, at which point I will stop recording again because the downs are supposed to be very steep as well. Anyway, um, my point was... This is the, that I wanted to record that because it's my first 3,500 foot peak in the Catskills that I've ever hiked. And certainly this is almost without a doubt the most strenuous uh, physically taxing hike I've done since I've been getting back out. Um, so there's that. Anyway, looks like I'm going to need my hands. So I'm going to turn this off. I'll join you later. Oh, to live on Sugarloaf Mountain With the bears and the red squirrels Pardon me, I'm sorry. But ever since I 
got up here for some reason that Neil Young song Sugar Mountain modified as Sugar Loaf Mountain, I guess you can understand why, has been running through my head. And, uh, you know, it's so nice up here. Um, I'm meandering across the top here. I guess you call this an arboreal forest? I don't know. My brother, again, Jim, my brother, he might know. I don't know. I just know it's uh, beautiful. It's peaceful. And uh, I'm carrying about three liters of water on my back, plus two protein shakes. So I'll be happy when I've drank more of it and the load is lightened a little bit. And uh, I definitely missed the summit in the sense that I don't know where it was. <laughs> I thought that there were signs that said, okay, you've reached the summit of Sugarloaf Mountain. Uh, but if there were, I did not see them. So I checked my all trails and I definitely hit it. So that's cool to know. Okay, off we go. I feel like it's winter. I mean, look at all this snow. It's crazy to me. Uh, there's so much snow up here. Uh, I'm really, really surprised. Uh, but, you know, probably keeps the rattlesnakes in hibernation. I don't know. See ya. Pretty. You can see, that's a, just a gorgeous view. Out here in just the middle of nowhere. Wind whipping by every now and then. A couple birds tweeting. Real tweets, not the kind that are on Twitter. But very cool. Very gorgeous. Loving it. I don't know what all those mountains are, but there's a bunch of mountains over there. More Adirondacks, or not Adirondacks. Where the hell am I? Catskills. I'm high up. I like it. So, I'm having fun. I don't know what that reservoir over there is, or lake, or whatever, or if that's the Hudson River. I got no idea. But, it's just beautiful. I can't uh, really imagine. I wonder what it looks like, you know, in another couple months where this whole thing is just green. Uh, that would be pretty impressive. So, well worth doing it again. Uh, especially since I don't know how far I'm going to get. As you can tell, it's clouding up a little bit. So, I don't know whether that'll influence my decision to keep going or not. I'm going to stop for lunch pretty soon. Um, and then I'm going to charge this thing back up because it's getting low. And we'll see if the GoPro works. Don't know how well you can make that out through the trees, but I think... And remember, this is my first time up here, so I don't really know for sure uh, what everything is. But I think that's twins over there. Uh, and I only say that because there's two of them two peaks so I may be hitting those um, today we'll see but until then onwards and upwards we go as we just boogaloo up this trail so far it's not too bad I know it's gonna get worse I know it's gonna be a challenge based on everything I've read and a couple of the other videos I've watched from other people who've done the trail but whereas six months ago, I don't think I'd have gotten this far and I'd have just given up and gone back. I think I can do it. We will see. Don't know how well you can make that out through the trees, but I think, and remember this is my first time up here, so I don't really know for sure uh, what everything is, but I think that's twins over there. Uh, and I only say that because there's two of them, two peaks. So I may be hitting those. Um, today we'll see but until then onwards and upwards we go as we just boogaloo up this trail so far it's not too bad i know it's going to get worse i know it's going to be a challenge based on everything i've read and a couple of the other videos i've watched from other people who've done the trail but 
Whereas six months ago, I don't think I'd have gotten this far and I'd have just given up and gone back. I think I can do it. We will see. Don't know how well you can make that out through the trees, but I think, and remember this is my first time up here, so I don't really know for sure uh, what everything is, but I think that's twins over there. Uh, and I only say that because there's two of them, two peaks. So I may be hitting those um, today, we'll see. But until then, onwards and upwards we go as we just boogaloo up this trail. So far, it's not too bad. I know it's gonna get worse. I know it's gonna be a challenge based on everything I've read and a couple of the other videos I've watched from other people who've done the trail. But whereas six months ago, I don't think I'd have gotten this far and I'd have just given up and gone back. I think I can do it. We will see. Hey, look at that. The GoPro is working. I think it's working anyway. So I'm somewhere on the side of Sugarloaf Mountain, uh, heading down. I've summited it already and I'm on the Devil's Path. You can see up here, pretty gorgeous area. This is interesting. This is actually where the path goes. See, there's the red foot marker or foot trail marker over there on that tree. And it actually goes down there, then around. And eventually I'm gonna end up down in this valley. Uh, but you can tell it's pretty steep. Yeah, it's not, uh, you know, I'm not going down gradually. This is gonna be going down pretty quick. So that's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna eat myself some lunch sit on this mountain, enjoy this gorgeous view and this day, uh, and see where it ends up going. I may go up to the top of that thing over there uh, by the time I'm done. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, it, it's definitely a very strenuous trail. Uh, I'm not sure I'll do both loops. 14 miles may be a little more than I can bite off today, uh, just because I don't want to get home at like 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. All right, I'm gonna try and turn this thing off again. We'll see if it works. So, getting ready to head out. Just wanted to take one last look at this area where I had my lunch. Whatever the heck that mountain is, I could probably figure it out, but I'm too lazy to look. And this just gorgeous vista. But as you can see, it's clouding up pretty heavily. So, I'm gonna make my way uh, there you go nice burp for the trail it's it's very cool i mean you can see uh, the way that it's all wooded and everything um i kind of came down all this mess into here i'm going to keep going down the trail um it's definitely a challenging trail uh the way i feel right now if I had unlimited you know, time, uh, I would probably go for the 14 miles, but I think I'm probably gonna cut it in half. And when I get to the point where the trail divides, I'm gonna head back. So I'm gonna end up with just the one summit today, uh, but I think it will still have been a very challenging uh, and a very cool and uh, worthwhile hike. So as you can see, that's where I gotta go. That's the beginning of the down. And then when I get all the way down, I guess it's a, a hike through the ravine to get sort of back. Uh, I really would like to hit that other summit over there uh, and go up. Um, just don't think I got the time uh, to, to make it happen. And uh, we'll see. see how it goes. I may record even more from the trail. Who knows? All right. On the Devil's Path. So can see this little part right here of the trail it's a little steep uh, there's a red marker I do one of the things that's slowing me down it's not that it's badly marked it's actually very well marked but um, it is sometimes especially when I was coming up difficult to spot those red markers 
and know where the trail is. So I have, uh, you know, tried to, I got off trail a couple times because I missed them. And um, it is a little challenging to keep speed when you keep backtracking. Makes sense, right? Ooh, so pretty. Awesome. And, uh, ah, fly, get out of my ear. This is, uh, so this is slowing me down and that's part of why I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to do the full thing. Woo, that was fun. Uh, today. But it's a trail I would come back to again for sure because I'm sure it is quite different varying seasons. As I said, when I was looking down at it um, from a lookout up there, you know, there is a, uh, you can tell, you know, everything is brown. It, leaves haven't come in yet. Uh, you got no greenery other than whatever the pines are. So it would be interesting to see this, you know, maybe not midsummer, because then it'll be really hot, but uh, you know, spring, I guess it's spring now, but summertime or early June or something like that when maybe some of these trees actually have leaves and it's in full, full greenery. I think that'd be kind of cool. So, it'll end up being just Sugarloaf Mountain rather than uh, the full Mink Hollow Loop. Instead of doing both loops, I'm probably only going to do the one and uh, go from there. So, oh, it's fun. You can tell. It's a little steep. A little steep. And uh, again, I'm gonna give credit to these boots, man. My feet are not particularly in great shape. Uh, they don't handle down very well. My toes don't like it, but uh, these boots have been great. So off we go. I'm gonna have to look at my all trails map, see uh, where I'm at and how close I am to the cutoff so that I can head back. So maybe I'll check in again. See ya. All right, so it really is, now I'm at the uh, point where I gotta make a choice. Um, it is, I'll tell you here in a second, 1219. So I wanted to be out of here by three. Here's the thing, Twin Mountain, uh, if you can see this sign. Twin Mountain is 0.7 miles. That's not far, right? But it's all up because that's Twin Mountain, right? So it's 0.7 miles that's going to kick my ass. Uh, Indian Head Mountain is 2.1. So I could, you know, if I go 0.7 and 0.7 back to here, that's 1.4. Math is, is something I can do, actually, apparently. I don't know, even at my ancient age. Um, but so I don't know about doing 4.2 though, 2.1 and then 2.1 back. That's 4.2 more miles. Right now I have just about five miles in. Um, and it was, it's a hard five miles, uh, let's, let's be real. So I could think, I could see adding 1.4, right? Because here's the other sign, Roaring Kill is where I parked, that's two miles away. So if I add, if I add 1.4, to two, that's 3.4, right? And if I add that to the five I've already done, I'm about eight miles. I kind of like that. That's a good, nice round number. I'm thinking I'm going to twin. I wasn't gonna do it, but fuck it, I'm gonna do it. So here I am, foolishly heading up twin. Uh, when I got to the break, the turning point, right? Uh, it was 0.7 miles. Now of that 0.7 miles, it's probably all up. So that's what I'm doing. And 
I'm gonna turn this around in a second and you can see where I'm going. See the red marker up there? So 0.7 miles that, as I said uh, in my Facebook Live video that I finally got to post, is likely to kick my ass. Um, but I'm gonna do it. Why? Because I want to. And why the hell not, right? 0.7 miles is gonna add 1.4 to the round trip total. Uh, and then it's, when I get back down, it's two miles to Roaring Kills. And that two miles added to the 1.4 makes this a nice even around eight mile hike. And that feels better than bailing early on and only getting six, a little more than six. Plus, look at this. Why wouldn't I want to do this? What sane person wouldn't want to climb up these rocks and go to the top of a really cool mountain while carrying a GoPro on a fucking stick, trying to entertain somebody, probably just himself. All right, I'm looking for red markers. <sighs> Phew, oh, I see one over there through the trees. So I'm gonna go up and around. All right, I'm gonna stop carrying the stick for a little bit. Why? Cause it's a pain in the ass and I'm going up all these rocks. So I'm gonna stop carrying the stick. And uh, when I get to the summit of Twin, I'll go and I'll turn this on again. Okay, see ya. Okay, so, I said F it and gave zero Fs to go ahead and said, I'm gonna get twin in here. So I'm heading up twin and you know, I totally get it. Um, you know, the devil's path full, full hike is like 24 plus miles, right? And it's five peaks. This is just the Eastern part of it which would hit the last three. And now, I, and let me tell you, I totally get how, um, you know, this is a monster of a trail because I think I had said, I did a video before I started up this and said, this just is 0.7 miles to get to the summit of Twin was gonna kick my ass consider my ass kicked. I mean, I'm going pretty quickly up this bit to try and make sure I'm back down and only have the last two miles with at least an hour and a half to go because I can knock those out. So that I'm back at the car by three. That's the goal, right? And I don't know how far up I am. But man, whew, you know, they give you a warning before you go up Sugarloaf that says 1,200 foot ascent. They don't tell you crap about this one. And it is nasty, man. So I get how if you started on the western side of the Devil's Path and then got through the first three peaks and then had to get here, I mean, you can see, I'm just going up, up and up and up and up and up. And that, even though that actually, I don't know how that looks in the camera, it may or may not look that steep. It actually is pretty steep grade, but that ain't nothing compared to what I've already done. Um, I mean, the thing that keeps going through my mind is I gotta go back down the same way I just came up. and. I'm going pretty quickly up. Down is gonna be a lot of it on my ass, uh, sliding down rocks faces. Cause I'm not gonna be able to uh, easily get footing going down. None of it is like precipitous in the sense like, you know, you're gonna fall off a cliff or something. So it's not really that dangerous in that sense. But you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have to do some sliding, I think. So, 
hopefully I'm getting close to the top here. Uh, it was supposed to be 0.7 miles. I think I've come point, uh, trying to do math in my head while I'm exhausted. Uh, 0.5 maybe, so 0.2 miles left. We will see. This is a real steep trail and a real fun trail, especially with all the ice that's on it. Um, have slipped a couple times, nothing dramatic, haven't fallen, which is good. Um, so, the thing, I got my hiking sticks with me and I haven't used them yet. Um, and I know a lot of people would swear by them. I just don't see the point on these ups when you're gonna do a lot of scrambling. And in my mind, since I'm gonna be doing a lot of scrambling coming down, what the hell's the point? Oh man. Yeah, quads are getting a workout, fellas. Whoo, things. Glad I'm doing some squats with my TRX at home. Cause, man, they're getting hammered. Ooh, that's cool. So, this is starting to even out and level off to a certain extent. And I don't know whether you can see through the, the trees or not. Let me try and extend my pole here a little bit more. If I can figure out how to do it. There we go. So, you can see still gorgeous up here. I don't know what you're seeing because I ain't that tall. But um, let me flip this. So you can tell it's finally starting to even out. So I got to be getting close to summit uh, of this. I mean, there's still some up I can tell. Ooh, a cave. Should I explore? Probably not. Plus my ass is still too big to get in there. Supposedly there is a cave somewhere on this trail. Supposedly. I ain't seen it yet. All right, so much for even and out. It's going up some more. All right, just wanted to provide some commentary and use the damn GoPro. I will be back. Okay, back again. I finally figured out this GoPro, I think. We'll see. Uh, finally saw somebody and had a nice little conversation with him. Nice guy, I don't remember what his name was because I didn't really ask. I'm not the greatest socializer, but uh, very nice guy. And there are 39, 3,500 foot peaks, or 39 peaks in the Catskills. And so these are gonna be my first two. He was finishing his 39th. So, very cool. And uh, I don't know, it's just kinda, it's probably right around the same age I am. Um, Ooh, maybe a little older, possibly. Could even be a little younger, not sure. But, uh, ooh, I see a view. And uh, I decided I'd turn the GoPro on because he said, you are steps away from the summit. And I said, well, F and A Bubba. Oh man, how's that fellas? How the hell is that? Whoo! So this is the summit of Twin, or close, pretty damn close to it, if not the summit. That I believe is Sugarloaf over there. Something else back there, Plateau, I think. Indian heads to the other side of this thing. Again, I don't know what that river is over there, if it's a river or a reservoir or a lake, but it's kind of cool. Just gorgeous. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Well worth it. Well, well worth it. What a day. Um, bag two summits. Feeling pretty good about it. Uh, I may, I, he told me 
The next overlook, uh, which is about a half a mile away, is even better than this one. So I may try and do that extra half mile. We will see. We will see. Ah. Uh, because I have a feeling most of it is going to just be parallel. I may go down a tad and then go back up a tad. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to check my all trails and see. Check the clock, see what time it is. But man, talk about just beautiful. Oh. Awesome. See ya. So I'm trying to get to this other twin summit. And I decided, you know what? This part of the path is so easy, I'm gonna run. And so I am. And so, as I was doing it, a uh, song from my youth went through my head. Robin Hood and Little John running through the forest. Ooh lolly, ooh lolly. Golly, what a day. Some other bullshit that I can't remember because I was like 10 years old then. Now I'm 53, and I'm having a great day. Woo! Wonder what this looks like. All right, I ain't doing it uphill. See ya. All right, so second summit of Twin. Uh, I did a Facebook Live from here, so if you saw that, this will not give you much more information, but so just so you can see, there you go. That's the view. And I, I will give it to the, the guy I met. It's better than the first one. Um, worth worth the quick run over here to see it, I think. Um, so again, that's Sugarloaf over there. And then you just get to see all the way around. That looks like a lake. It might be the Hudson River. I don't know if that whole water system is essentially all in one or not. Uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And I think that's going to do my day. Um, I've done, let's see, so far 6.15 miles, uh, we got at least three to get back, so right around nine, uh, you know, nine miles for the day, not too bad, uh, it's not the 14 I set out to do, but uh, two mountains, three summits, because uh, I'm counting this as a third summit, I don't, you know, maybe there's 39 mountains in the in the Catskills. I'll have to do some more research. Uh, but if since the twin has two summits, I'm counting this as three summits. And if you don't like it, it's too bad. I don't care. It's my I'm counting it. It's my life. So I'm doing it. Um, but man, it's just beautiful. I, I just beautiful. I mean just look. I love it. It's gorgeous. All right, folks, I will probably only do one more of these, uh, which is when I get to the end of the trail. Um, it's outside chance I do something while I'm sliding down my ass to get down this thing. But uh, so today's, today's adventure took me up the Mink Hollow Path, up Sugarloaf, over the top of Sugarloaf, up to both summits of Twin. Uh, and then I'm just turning around. I'm going to go back down to the rush kill or whatever the heck it's called. And then it's two miles to the parking lot. So uh, I don't know what time it is. It's probably about 1.30. Uh, I should be back to the car before 3, which is what I wanted to do all along. And then uh, heading home. So peace. Okay, so that was a little slower than I thought it would be coming down. Um, but it was just as hard as I thought it would be coming down. So I am down though from twins. So I'm back to where the cutoff is. Roaring Kill parking area is where I parked. So I got two miles and then I'm in the car. Uh, yeah, that was, I had a near fall 
coming down. Tripped on something, don't know what. Uh, but caught my arm on a tree, you know, and uh, or grabbed a tree, I should say. Kept me from going further than I needed to. Even then, it wasn't gonna be like, you know, a fall over a cliff, but it might've hurt. Um, because there was a lot of rocks. So that was about the only real adventure coming down. Coming down went about what I anticipated, maybe a little less butt sliding, which is good because essentially since I've lost weight, um, I don't have an, I didn't have an ass to begin with, but I really don't have an ass now. Um, and that means all that's back there is bone. So sliding down on my ass ain't fun because uh, it's, you know, just bone. So heading down the blue trail now. Overall, very happy with this day. Very happy with this hike. Um, my Fitbit died on me. So I don't know if I'll get full credit on my Fitbit app, which annoys me. I'm all about getting credit for my steps. And uh, so every one of these steps ain't getting tracked. And that's some bull. Um,